guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial showing you how to get gel nail polish off your nails. So this is probably three and a half week old gel nail polish. You can see all of the nail growth that I have. Um, I got the gel nail polish done at a nail salon and you're always told not to pick it off. So if I really, really, really wanted to and I was really in a pinch, you can pick off gel nail polish um, like what I'm doing right now. See, see if I could do it. Yeah, like that. Like you could pick it off and peel it if you really wanted to, but that damages your actual nails like really, really bad if you do that. So I definitely don't suggest taking nail, gel nail polish off that way. You can go back to the salon and they can take it off for you, but I have found a way to do it at home. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Okay, so the supplies you'll need, you'll need some aluminum foil. This is kitchen aluminum foil. You can get it at the dollar store and cut it into strips. So I have 10 strips here, one for each finger. You'll need some cotton balls. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Just regular cotton balls. I got these from Ulta. They look like this. So I'm going to take a few of these out. There we go. You'll also need some nail polish remover with acetone in it. If you can find pure acetone, that's perfect. Um, you can find that at places like Sally's Beauty. Ulta might have some. I think Walgreens or drugstores even have pure acetone. This is the Sally Hansen uh, gel polish acetone remover. Lily, you are snoring. Oh, my dogs. Okay, so this is a Sally Hansen um, gel polish acetone remover. I found this when I was looking for pure acetone. The main ingredient in this is acetone. Um, there's a few other things in here, but it basically just says professional acetone formula removes Sally gel polish any gel polish really fast and contains uh, what does that say emollient for nourishing cuticles so it has like extra stuff in it to help nourish your cuticles but you don't have to buy this um, I got this at Ulta if you do want to look for it it was like five dollars it's really small though it's only two fluid ounces and I've only used it once and it's already half gone so it's not gonna last very long I think next time I'll just get pure acetone but I will link this down below if you want to check it out the last thing you'll need is some kind of tool to push off the polish this I actually got from a nail salon they gave it to me because I asked them where they bought those and they said oh we'll just give it to you so um, but it has like that flat side that pushes back cuticles I'm not gonna use it for that purpose but you don't have to use they, they sell these at Ulta Sally stuff like that too you don't have to use that you can just use normal nail clippers and you can use the edge of the nail clipper right here or you can use this little file thing that they have in normal nail clippers it doesn't matter honestly anything to push your nail back you could probably find stuff around the house to push off the gel polish too but that's what you'll need okay so to start off I'm gonna rip these in half because you do not need a full cotton ball unless you have like mini cotton balls which I don't know if they sell mini cotton balls I'm sure they do but I'm ripping these in half next thing you want to do is take your acetone and pretty much soak the cotton balls five cotton balls with the acetone so soak it as much as you can this is why you go through it really quickly because you pretty much soak it put it on top of the nail like that and then wrap a sheet of tin foil around it just like that it does drip quite a bit so make sure you're on a surface where it's uh, acetone resistant or proof or whatever because <laughs> you're gonna ruin if there's paint on whatever surface you're using so just like that and you're gonna do that to all of your nails All right, so once you got all of your nails all wrapped up, I like to do one hand at a time because it is really, really hard to work with these because if I had to wrap these nails like with these, it's just, you can do it, but it's difficult. I've tried it before. So I like to do one hand at a time. You wanna let it sit for about, I mean, at least five minutes. I like to let mine sit for about 10-ish minutes. And what it's doing is it's softening that gel polish so much so that you can just kind of scrape it off and it won't damage the nail bed underneath. You can also grab a nail file while you're waiting because some of the gel polish is so difficult to get off that you need to like file it down. Um, you can also file the gel polish before like this to kind of take off that top layer. 
and it the that way the acetone can kind of soak in a little bit quicker. Um, so that's kind of a trick if you're in a hurry and you want the acetone to like really, really sink into the gel polish. So you can do that if you want to. It's just kind of your preference. So I'll do it on this one. Uh, I didn't do it on this one just because I don't know. It helps, but it doesn't help that much. Sometimes filing like this, you can file so far to see your nails, so be careful. That's why I don't like doing this, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes and then get back to this hand. Okay, I went ahead and tested my luck with doing my left hand with these on. It was quite uh, humorous, I should have recorded it. But also, these right here, this is the tripod, in case you're wondering what that is. I can't get it out of the frame, so my bad there. Okay, so, it's been about 10 minutes and I think they're ready. So I'm gonna pop these off. I don't know if you can see, but inside there's like little chips of pink. That's the nail, oh, this one has a lot of chips of pink in it. So that's the nail polish kind of coming off a little bit. Um, some of them don't have any chips, some of them have a lot of chips. So then I'm gonna get this tool and it should scrape off pretty well. See how it's kind of scraping off there? Yeah, it's coming off pretty well. I mean, it's still a little bit tough. It's not gonna be super duper easy, especially since I have a foil on my other hand, but you can see that it just pops right off and the nail underneath is not damaged like at all. It looks exactly the same. So that's the trick. I'm gonna do the rest of the nails. If you have some that are being little stinkers like these last two, for some reason I feel like it's always my ring finger and my pinky finger that are like the little stinkers. Um, I just stick them back in uh, here for a little bit. I let them sit for another few minutes and then I go back and it usually helps. Okay, so here's what it looks like after I'm done, and there's always inevitably one finger, and it's usually my ring finger that like is so stubborn and it won't come off. So I usually just try to file it off, and it works really well. So there we go, just a little leftovers there. There we go, get some of that off. All right guys, now I have super clean, super nice nails, and I'm gonna go ahead and file them and get them all nice and clean, push back my cuticles, and paint them with normal nail polish instead of gel polish. So that's my trick. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any gel polish removal hacks down below in that comment section, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.